Ayo hey, Chico Army, how's it hanging on this wonderful September afternoon? With Bitcoin, there is no hanging around. It's on the move upwards. So like BTC, are you ready to move and groove while watching the tube? Well, you don't really have a choice because it's time for Chico Crypto. So let's begin today with Bitcoin and the price as it looks like the asset found its bearish September bottom. Like I showed last week, September is notorious for being red. Since 2013, six out of eight years have been bearish, resulting in price declines. And now make that seven out of nine because September 2021 has been bearish. From 52,700 bucks on the 7th to a low two days ago of about 44,000. A stiff loss of about 16.5% over doubling the average decline in September since 2013, which was a 7.5% average loss. Now the loss down to the 44k low was an anomaly due to the Litecoin debacle that happened on Monday. And as of Tuesday, BTC shook that off and surpassed where it was before that, making its way up to the resistance of 47.5k. Now there may be some turbulence around here or BTC will pass right through it. Either of those scenarios scream to me altcoins are going to turn really bullish. Which was already starting to happen yesterday with 25% gains, 20% gains, many 10% and many of these DeFi based protocols. Out of the top 100, 42 coins had bigger gains than Bitcoin's 5.3% over 24 hours. So who are some of my altcoin picks ready to make big moves? Those ready to suck in liquidity and get that pampity pump. Pump it up a little more, get the party going on the dance floor. Well, let's dive right in. And this one is one I already covered in a live stream over the weekend, which made it move. And as of yesterday, it was moving again. That is GMX. So let's just hear what I had to say over the live stream about GMX when it was only around $6 per coin. But this is the more undervalued lower market cap big one. And that is what Perpetual is. So Perpetual is a decentralized, you know, leverage platform where you can trade leverage and all that in a decentralized manner, Perpetual contract. There it is, GMX, dude. Oh yeah, this is gonna be massive. Decentralized Perpetual Exchange on Arbitrum. This is big, this is undervalued. It is a decentralized perpetual options exchange built on Arbitrum, a blossoming second layer of Ethereum, which is truly secured by the Ethereum mainnet and layer one. And Arbitrum TVL is going bonkers lately, exploding to over 2.2 billion as of yesterday, an over 2,411% increase in just seven days. Now that Nyan Kitty Cat has a bulk of that, but GMX is also helping a good portion of it. They put out their update number one yesterday, and as we can see since September 1st, only two weeks ago, over 150 million has been traded through their decks, which means over $300,000 in fees in just two weeks. And if you didn't know, a good portion of those fees are converted into Ethereum and distributed to GMX stakers. Now GMX can be related to the cryptocurrency perpetual protocol. Not only are they similar in what they offer, but I predict a similar thing happening to the price. The first time I covered Perpetual was all the way back in October of 2020 with this video, explaining why they chose XDAI as their second layer. How much was Perpetual back then? Around just a dollar, about a dollar and 16 cents. And pulling out the price chart, Perpetual has been on a freaking tear without slowing down. Even the May crash couldn't stop it. It peaked at over $21 recently and as of yesterday, it was $17.50. 
But some of you will be like, but Tyler, GMX is already more expensive than Perpetual. It's around $20 today. How is this going to pull a Perpetual? Well, stop looking at just the price. You have to look at circulating supply and total supply. GMX total supply is 13.25 million. Perpetual has a total supply of 150 million. GMX still has a ton of room to grow, like a ton. And it will in my opinion, because it has backers besides just myself who are very influential in the crypto space. Dovey Wan, who has influence not only in the West, but also influence over in China and the East, has been tweeting on repeat about GMX. I showed this in the live stream, but over the weekend she tweeted she was lucky enough to get to know the main dev of GMX, but also said GMX slash Gambit organic accumulative trading volume has quietly surpassed 1.2 billion since April without engaging in any MM or crazy transaction fee mining programs. True people's derived decks just based. And then yesterday she tweeted, GMX plus L2 equals King's Gambit. And once again, with those words, but also L2 speed, no VC, no marketing, no farming, 150 million has been traded on GMX and only a week launched on Arbitrum. Based AF, W1. But remember, a rising tide lifts all ships. There is another similar project being built on Arbitrum, and it's nearly 3 x in the past week. That is Cap, Cap.Finance, who even with the price rise, has a smaller market cap than GMX. UI2 is about as simple as it gets with a Uniswap type feel, but it's also about as decentralized as it gets built on Arbitrum's Layer 2, hosted on IPFS, using Chainlink Oracles for price fees. Not a bad perpetual product. Now moving on, over the weekend I also covered a very interesting project, one of my faves. It's not on Arbitrum, but the Ethereum mainnet, and Mark Cuban has been dipping his toes into it repeatedly, and he still is. That is Olympus Dow. Now, this is some alpha, me thinks. Two days ago, Alchemist Coins Twitter tweeted, Have a great week at Olympus Dow, at ClimaDAO, with Alchemist Crucibles shaking hands with Olympus Dow's 3 3, and then Olympus shaking hands with trees, which represent ClimaDAO. So, two of my favorite projects, Olympus and Alchemist, have been rumored to be partnering and creating some amazing stuff soon. But who is ClimaDAO? Well, they are a carbon-backed algorithmic currency, leveraging DeFi to incentivize carbon sequestering. So, what type of DeFi? Well, Clima put out a blog post August 8th titled ClimaDAO Ecosystem Climbing Olympus, and in it they said, The ClimaDAO ecosystem is modeled on Olympus DAO. Iterating on their work presents the best framework for us to achieve our objectives. We are grateful for their vision and execution, the example they have set, and advice they have offered us. Bow chicka wow wow! And the Clima Fair Launch Auction is currently going on through Alchemist Fair Launch Platform called Copper. And I'm interested in this to say the least. But it's not just token launch auctions that Copper can help perform in a fair way. It's also NFTs, and that is coming very soon. Cybertooth NFT artist tweeted, At this very moment, apes are paying 2 ETH and gas to mint a .08 NFT. And the rest of us also get to pay insane gas today. Yay! At the upcoming Book of Alchemy NFT drop, we will show you a better way. Three days at Copper Launch. Two days now, and the better way is it's an NFT fair launch. And here are the details and benefits. 40 animated NFTs, each with music attached to them. No gas spikes, no exploits, and the community sets a price for them. And another bonus, at least 50% of the proceeds are going to the Alchemist Aludo program, distributed to Alchemist Crucible holders. Tico likes because I'm a holder. Now, I know the NFT hype has calmed down a bit, but there will be another resurgence of the hype in this bull run. 
So spotting the next big NFTs and projects will be critical. Besides Cybertooth and his NFTs, today I think I've found one super early, as it's not yet launched in token form, and it would make old Elon Musk super happy. That is Mars 4, which is an NFT metaverse project based on a replica of Mars using data from NASA, so it's exactly how Mars is way up there. It's going to create a world on Mars with terraforming and gamification form and transforming the planet into a habitable one. Going to the live application, we can see the virtual world created based on Mars, but there are sections. It's gridded with sections. What does that mean? Well, each grid represents a land plot on Mars, and there are just under 100,000 of them. And each plot is represented by an NFT, kind of like an NFT land deed. And the NFT sale opens once again today, the 15th. And what I like about this one is it's one of the first inherent revenue generating NFTs. By owning an NFT plot of land, you are entitled to the transaction fees in the metaverse. As we can see from their light paper, they explain how this will work. Tokens are redistributed to NFT owners from gamers who staked NFTs or Mars tokens in the protocol. The share of the revenue distribution is dependent on your NFT land plots owned. And part of the in-game currency, Mars tokens will be burned in relation with the NFT minting. And then 4% of Mars Metaverse game transactions are redistributed. 2% to yield farming, aka NFT holders, and 2% to liquidity. Yeah, yield generating NFTs. We like that too. Cheers. I'll see you next time.